Hey everybody, it's Jenny, and I am back with you today to share how I planned in my classic happy planner. This is the Be Happy, Be Bright, Be You planner, and this is the week of November 14th through 20th. I am using some Scraptastic Club stickers, the November plan on it, and they are so stinking cute. Now, I didn't go crazy with like the Thanksgiving turkey, all of that for this particular week because it's the week before Thanksgiving and I knew next week I don't have a whole lot of activities, so I would go crazy then. Anyway, so I'm starting on Monday and I used one of those quarter boxes. It's really sort of decorative but because it has that super cute little banner, I could write a little something on there and because it was kind of an important Thing that I wanted to note it was the perfect sticker for that because it stands out and then I can write that important thing there and it's cute right I did use a little teardrop sticker though next to it so I could notate the initials of my two kids that didn't have school that day now I used a little clock sticker to notate the time that I needed to pick up my son and then that little remember speech box is just super cute I didn't need to add it but what I will tell you about it is that it does make it stand out a little bit more, that one particular event. And because picking up at 2.30 is not the norm for me, it's helpful to have that make it stand out like, oh yeah, especially because my other two sons were off of school that day. So it's kind of one of those things that it's not necessary. I wouldn't have to add it, but it definitely made things a little bit better. Now, as you can see, I store my small little ink pads in that four by six box. It comes in a larger box. You can get them at Michael's. It's really meant for photos, but I use it to store all of my planner inks, and those were the ones that I have, as you saw, in that one four by six box. I don't have another box of planner inks. I just use that one little group of them. I have a nice little rainbow going on, enough colors. I didn't need one for every color of the rainbow times three. I just need a set of basics that I use all of the time. I used the red VersaFine for that super cute little stamp set from Sweet Stamp Shop. It's the little cards. My husband has poker. And I love VersaFine. I highly recommend it, particular if you, if you are a new stamper, you will get great results and you will feel a lot more confident about your stamping. But I've been stamping for a very long time and I pretty much only use VersaFine. I just think it's the best choice, especially for your planner. It's not gonna bleed with some of the really dark colors. You might have a tiny bit of shadowing, but you're not gonna have any bleeding. Now I've moved on to my to-dos down at the bottom and I got that all finished up along with my meal planning and now I'm moving on to Tuesday and I used that cute little stamp. It's one from Scraptastic Club from a kit earlier in the year and it allows me to put the event in the box, add the cute little car icon which is so adorable and then just keep track of everything in a really orderly, tidy way but I think it still looks good and I like that a lot. Now, I love to mix stamps and stickers. I feel like it gives me the best use for function, but then it also keeps the results varied. So everything looks different. It keeps my eye moving around the page. I don't get lulled into complacency because everything kind of looks the same. It definitely keeps me moving around to make sure that I note all of the different things that are going on. And quite frankly, I love to stamp. I love stickers. So combining them is the best way for me to have the most fun when I'm planning. And enjoying the process is part of how I'm actually going to get it done and stay the most organized. Now, as you can see, I filled in the bottom those meal planning stickers. They are also from Scraptastic Club. They are really perfect. They're bright, they're bold, they're a good size. I can add the things that I need to add for dinner, like there's enough room for a couple of different words there, and they're just really great, and I love them a lot. Now, I'm stamping on Wednesday, or actually Tuesday, the to-do list header. As you know, I like to change that up, and on Monday, I did a couple of layered stickers, and then on Tuesday, I used that to-do, which is from one of the Scraptastic Club stamp sets, and then also the check marks. I love having a 
checklist. So having, I could just totally write my list. I wouldn't have to have a checklist. It's not imperative. But for me, being able to make those check marks to saying that I finished that or I didn't finish that helps me be the most productive. And I think that honestly, the most important part of all of this planning is knowing what makes you the most productive. I know for me, being able to visually see my list and check things off makes me the most productive. And I know that keeping things different and varied and interesting also keeps me the most productive. So knowing yourself is really the best tip I can give you and make it your own. Make it just exactly what works for you. Now I finished up Wednesday. Hopefully you got a good look at that while I was rambling on about tips for being productive because we're moving on to the next half of the page. I'm going to add my one last little meal planning sticker down there. I don't meal plan for Friday and Saturday nights because we eat dinner on the go or out and I don't usually cook. But I also added my little bubble checklist. I love these stinking things, they're so cute. And what I also like about them is that you could turn them on their side or something and use them for trackers, like water tracker or pet food or vitamins or medicine or whatever the things are that you track, you could totally use them for that as well. I also did a little bit of layering, those super cute hatched arrows with the half hexagon to do and it's just a really fun way to make something really super ordinary which is a to-do list is super ordinary make it a little bit more fun and make it a little bit more interesting and encourage me to get those things finished now I don't have any real events on Thursday I have pick up and you know drop off and all those types of things but I don't have any activities we've gotten into this sort of quieter season for activities for my family. So it's kind of nice. But anyway, for planning, it doesn't make it particularly interesting because there aren't all that many things to plan. Now on Friday, I took this little cute kawaii basketball with the little face and added it to the quarter box from the Scraptastic Club, the mixed boxes. And then on Thursday, it's an old sticker that I have from Planner... Jubilo, maybe, on Etsy. Anyway, they're really cute. It's got the little basketball. It's perfect for just for notating what time practice is. Now you can see that on Thursday, I took that stamp and I flipped it upside down. So I think traditionally, using it right side up is kind of, you know, the plan for that stamp. But every now and again, I like to turn things around, use them a little differently. It stretches me a little bit more creatively and it makes me you know, it just makes it challenges me and it makes me look at my supplies a little bit differently and how I can make them work better. Actually, when I'm looking at that, I love it turned upside down. So that might be something that you're seeing a lot more in the future. I added that little football game sticker. It was from a sampler from Lily Henry. I don't buy football stickers. Um, my kids don't play football. I don't watch football. Eeks, I know, I know. And so football isn't something that is high on my radar, but I did have that one. It matches this week, and there's a big football game at my son's high school. So that was kind of all meant to be, right? It's perfect, and they fit all together. So now I'm moving on to the weekend. And obviously, who doesn't love a good weekend? But I'm going to layer a few different stickers together. I used a couple of those strips and then also that little weekend banner. I love it because it's kind of messy. It's got that paint brush effect going on for it. And then all those colors just go really well together. I always love stars. And then they fit the that there's a bunch of sports related things happening on Saturday as well. Now down at the very bottom, I took one of the larger boxes and paired it with one of those large clocks. And I just think that's fantastic. It's really stands out like your eye obviously is like, oh my gosh, let me look at this. And it's just really cute as well. So that definitely is one of the things that you are really looking for when planning is making something that your eye notices that you're drawn to so that you don't forget to do it or you don't forget to go to it because if you your planner isn't working and having you get to these activities then something is not working so anyway you can see that I used a different couple of different ways to notate events 
a label with a little flag and then the little arrow and the star pointing to the activity. I just love it. Now on the today stamp for Sunday sticker, I'm sorry, I love it. It's so cute, it's my favorite. And I'm gonna pair it with this airplane stamp from Sweet Stamp Shop. I just, this ends up being one of my most favorite things about this week. I don't know why, I just love how they look together. And I love that I was able to pair a sticker and a stamp and make something completely functional and awesome. So now I'm just going to fill in some of these little meal planning things since I had already done that on a sticky note and now I can add those things to the bottom of this week. I'm mostly finished to be perfectly honest with you but now I'm going to add a little bit of decor which I could totally completely 100% leave this as it is and I would feel really satisfied with it. I feel like it's cute. I feel like it's awesome. It's going to really help me. But you know what, if I can add two or three little elements to decorate it, make it stand out, and make me totally jazzed about my planner, so be it, right? Okay, so those hexagons are just incredibly cute, and I know that I want to use them. And I feel like if I can make them all cluster together down there in that lower right-hand corner, it's kind of awesome because we're traveling, and the whole thing is just super cute, and... They look wonderful there together. I'm just really, really happy with that. I really like how they layer and play together with that Today stamp. Now I know I want to add some of these really super cute woodland creatures as well. It's just a little bit harder for me based on the space that I have left to figure out how to use them. So I'm going to use my little emoji right there in the corner, which is my favorite way to do it and add that little checklist which I had completely forgotten about for Friday as if I wouldn't have any to-dos two days before I leave for a week-long trip am I right not likely and stamp the little to-do header I just love it because again I was able to make each day look different each day stand out on its own and I know it's going to be awesome so I'm taking this moose with his extra large little antlers and sticking him right in between Tuesday and Wednesday and then adding that sweet little girl from the sampler that comes with your purchase down there with the hexagons. So that's it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape and my week is completely finished. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you liked it and it also lets YouTube know the types of things that you like to see. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments and I will do my very best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.